The plans to bring the, the Grand Prix back to downtown Detroit has been many years in the making, and it has finally, finally come to fruition. And joining us now is the chairman of the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, Bud Denker. Thank you so much for being with us. It's great to be here. I have not seen this view over my shoulder, and it is unbelievable what is. kind of vantage point you all have here. It's beautiful. And it's unbelievable the vantage point that these racers are going to get being able yeah. to race in a downtown city skyscape. Yeah. The space you have downtown, it provides a very unique flow compared to especially Especially Belle Isle. What are some of the differences that you've noticed so far between what was out there versus what is here this weekend? Well, first of all, it's the thunder of listening to these cars go out through our downtown, echoing off the buildings. I mean, echoing off this building here. How loud was it when they were down track? Pretty it loud, was wasn't it? Loud. We had very headsets dramatic. and could not hear each other. Exactly. Yeah, very and, dramatic. And, I like it. And then the behind us is the most unique thing of this race. It's the dual pit lane. It's never been done before. I couldn't find a thousand feet of pit lane in the city. So we improvise, Michael Montroy and I, and we have 500 feet. So the first time ever, cars will pit to the left, cars will pit to the right, and somehow they'll have 300 feet to come from six lanes to one. Wow. That will be a spectacle in itself. Talk about precision. You need to be absolutely accurate when you're doing this. <laughs> no doubt about it. And accurate also in terms of our road design, right? Yeah. The drivers couldn't test here. So what we, we did a LiDAR scan of our racetrack, and we gave it to the drivers. They've been simulating it, providing me feedback in advance mm -hmm. to repave, to regrind the road. So we fixed the roads, as the governor would say, and they're ready to go with one-eighth of inch clearance. Wow. So you mentioned the dual pit lane, but there's also a straightaway on Jefferson. There's a yeah. hairpin turn. There's also altitude changes throughout this track. What is your favorite part about this new layout? You know, it's just what you just said. It's the diversity of the layout. Um, if you look at it on a piece of paper, it looks boring. But when you're down here and see the cars going downhill to, to, uh, to the riverfront, you see them going uphill to Jefferson Avenue. And as you mentioned, Seven-eighths of a mile straight away, 185 miles an hour, these cars are going legally. <laughs> and then into a hairpin turn with all that passing going on. Yeah. So there's such, there's such diversity this racetrack, and the drivers are anxious, um, but they're excited to be downtown Detroit. Yeah, I didn't see any speed limits on it, so I think they're yeah. in the clear. And we're excited to see them. I mean, we were both talking about how we wish we could go down Jefferson at 200 miles an hour. I don't think it's going to happen for us, but this is going to be incredible to watch. But this event is much more than the races, yeah. right? Why is it important to have all the different programming that surrounds the races for the entire community to enjoy? Well, you hit the right word. It's called event. I've never said we're having races in town. I said we're having an event in town. Because an event, you can bring your family to, your grandkids, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, because we're going to have Big Boy in concert. Uh -huh. We're going to have Steve Aoki in concert. That's an event. We're going to have the Meyer Family Zone in Hart Plaza. By the way, all for free. Uh -huh. Riverfront is free. Winter Circle. Jefferson Avenue, free. So come on down and enjoy this festival, this right. event, versus having a race. Race fans are going to love it. But I think we're going to have a bunch of new race fans for people who have never seen a race before. Uh, how, how important is it, though, to have those types of events for people who might not be the biggest racing fan mm -hmm. to come here and actually see what it's all about and kind of grow the sport in that way yeah. almost organically by having the experience themselves? Well, you know, Penske Corporation bought the IndyCar series. That, so we own the, the series, but we also have three race cars competing in it. So we have duality. So... We want to grow the series, and to grow the series, we need more young people. Mm -hmm. And we want to see more young people here. And we're doing that because of having these other opportunities to see an event. But also, look at our riverfront. 200 countries are going to see our race this weekend. Wow. Wow. Imagine the perception change that they're going to see when they see Is this Monaco? Is this San Diego? Mm -hmm. This is Detroit? Mm -hmm. And there's no better riverfront in the world. We're going to display that on air. Overhead shots, following the cars downtown, through the, through the, through the buildings on Jefferson. It's going to be magical. So exciting. International exposure yeah. for us. And hope you made such a good point about saying that introducing the sport to new race fans yes. and also introducing small businesses and everything that's happening downtown to people who might not make yeah. it down here very often. Your, your point is really good. That's one of the reasons we left Belle Isle. In my mind, Belle Isle may as well have been 50 miles away mm -hmm. because you came down, you parked your car, you took a bus, and you went back home afterwards. Here... You can take the queue line down, the people mover down. You're going to park somewhere. You're going to stop at a restaurant, stop somewhere to buy something along the way. The economic benefit we're going to see is just immense. That was a key point of what we've done here. Oh, by the way, our circuit still has an international tunnel in the middle of it yeah. that people are still going to be able to get in and out. That's the magic of what we designed here and the inclusiveness that we designed by having it for free. Awesome. International travel and an international audience. That's right. All open right now. But the winner, we were talking uh, yesterday with Will Power. He was the winner last year in the Detroit Grand Prix. Jumped in the fountain. That's the tradition that was on Belle Isle. But what can fans expect moving forward uh -huh. as a celebration? The winner circled down by the riverfront. 
I'm not sure I want to give my drivers a life vest to jump into our river <laughs> out here. I may be fishing them out at the Ambassador Bridge. Right. So we're going to have them do an amazing, amazing view on the riverfront, looking up at the Rensen, our victory lane. I don't encourage them to jump in the river. Right. The car is a little strong. Yeah, That's a bit much. It's a bit much. Well, what are people going to notice that is the same but also different by moving the races here to downtown Detroit? Well, you're going to see just world-class racers, obviously. You're going to see six races. Remember, there's three races on Friday and – I'm sorry, Saturday and three races on Sunday. Today is qualifying and practice. They're just getting their sea legs under them. How is this mm-hmm. track going to respond? So you're going to see 60-second laps in the Indy cars. Wow. Bell Isle is almost a minute and a half. 60 seconds each time a car goes around here, you're going to see it return to our city. So it's faster speed. It's more often in terms of the race laps. And it's all un- unknown territory. Mm-hmm. So and as a result exciting. of that, there's so much uncertainty and a lot of anxiousness. Yeah, well, we're <laughs> excited and anxious too, aren't I'm we? Exci- I'm excited because, and, and, and to your point, you said this is kind of like Monaco. It feels like a Formula One race with the tight turns. And so many people, they get the experience on this, but for a race... You have to be here yeah. to yeah, experience it. Really That's it with the noise really and just do. the atmosphere itself. Yeah, watching on TV is one thing, but I think when people come out of here and see what we've done here and see the enthusiasm, the buzz downtown is just electric. Mm-hmm. It is. It's contagious. And as a result of that, that makes this the event I was talking about. So come on down, park at Huntington Place, park at Comerica, take the queue line, take the people mover. Be part of this right. event, mm-hmm. and you're going to love it. Yes, and you will not be disappointed. No. It's exciting already, <laughs> and it's just going to get better as the weekend progresses. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Great to be here. Thank yeah. you all for being here as well. It's our pleasure.